I believe I am. Cool. Okay, so let me do this. Yes, I am live. This is great. Cool. Let me confirm on YouTube. What's going on with YouTube? I think YouTube is not correct. Hmm. Huh? Okay, interesting. Anyway, so let's do this. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a director product featured in Forbes. You have seen many of my YouTube videos in the past and just do another quick introduction. And I am the founder of PMX Surgery. You can check out more information on my website. And I've helped thousand people land the dream PM job offer in fan companies that you can start up and continue to get promoted as product leader. If you see me live right now on both YouTube and LinkedIn, please comment on the chat. We have experienced some technical difficulties today and hopefully I can see both of you guys on LinkedIn and YouTube. Just say hi in the chat so they know you're you're live with me. Um, I believe I can see LinkedIn, but I cannot see myself live on YouTube. Um, yeah. Okay. See. So, yeah. I see YouTube has a delay. Okay. Great. Cool. I am live. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So now let's do some housekeeping regarding what we do today. And this is a pre-event training, which means, uh, this is part of the product management. A uh, free training, which is my master class, where I teach people how to. Uh, hold on, I can not hear myself. Hold on. Okay, so we're back. Okay, so this is the free training where I help people to create the product portfolio in our master class, and then if people was interested in our in depth training, doing like weekly uh, mentoring call and also coaching call with me, you have opportunity to join the PM Accelerator program uh, after the master class. Okay, so what we are doing today is we're doing free resume review before people join the master class because this is sequence things we do. We want you to first of all watch our free training on YouTube and all other platforms, so you kind of have a high level understanding reg regarding what's the best strategy for you to land the next PM job and what's the best strategy to help you to get promoted as a director product and master all the important knowledge before you even jumpstart your PM career. And then you do this free resume review with me and then tomorrow and Wednesday, you join me during my free masterclass. Okay, and then after, um, uh, after masterclass, anybody want additional one-on-one -on -one training from me, feel free to reach out. And so what we're doing today is we're doing free live resume review. Whoever register for the masterclass, you should already receive an email uh, and including you receive email from my team and you got opportunities to directly send me your resume live. And we also have Natila. So Nathan, Nathania, not Natila, sir. Nathania uh, with me on Zoom right now. So she already emailed my team so you can directly get the zoom link um to talk to me live with me and if you also need an additional zoom link feel free to email my team and at the same time let me show you the email so everybody get ready um if you want to join me live okay okay let me share you my screen with all the information you need Okay, cool. All right. So weekly live free resume review. Okay, here's the instructions how to join me through Zoom link or direct email me a resume. Either one is, uh, is fun. We're all doing free live training, of course. I want people who talk to me in person through Zoom so it's easier for me to understand your unique background instead of just send me your PDF of your resume without me understanding the end to end story of yourself so that I can provide uh, more customized coaching with more information right to me. Okay, so now here is how to join, get a free resume review. Uh, so I show right here. Okay, right here. Specifically, if you see me live right now, like in, on my YouTube live and LinkedIn live, if you see me live right now, you can email me at nancy at drnancylee.com. Directly email me at nancy at drnancylee.com. And in your email title, make it very clear. 
and you say free resume review dash masterclass date. Let's say if you register our masterclass tomorrow or even last week, anytime you register and attending, including the future date, like tomorrow, Wednesday, or later this week, you register and tell me the date you registered because we want to prioritize people who are ready registered for the masterclass so that we are ready for you to have resume ready. And then during my masterclass, we'll teach you exactly how to create your product portfolio. Okay, um, so... When I'm not live, you can email my team at info at pmsfresh.io and he can send you the Zoom link to join me. Okay, so right now I understand I'm live, so email me directly. If I'm not live, email my team. Okay, either one is fine. Okay, so people will ask, what is Masterclass? What's going on? What you're talking about is right here. Okay, so if you go to my website, where which is darknessy.com slash masterclass, where I teach you how to create key department manager portfolio in two weeks that will land you a PM job offer, even if you were laid off or you had no PM experience. Okay, um, if once you register, it will just get a confirmation email with a date of your registration, which is right here. Yeah, pick the date that works best for you, click sign up. Everything is here and what we cover here. Okay. And as I said, when people do, uh, show up to our master class, you will get a free AI course and free resume review with me. So that's why what Nasara is doing right now. And right now, feel free to email me because if you already attended in the past or you registered for the future, just email me a resume, free resume review dash the date you registered for the master class. Okay. Great. Cool. Let's directly do this uh, without further ado. Nasalia, so can you unmute yourself? Can you quickly introduce yourself? And also, have you sent me your resume? No, I have not. I will do it right now. Yeah, can why don't you send me your resume um, right now? And then let me see any uh, comment we have. By email? Yeah, email at nancy okay. at .com. Let me share the slides again. Everybody, if you don't, mind, don't know my email, right here. Nancy at darknessly.com. Let me put it in the Zoom link. Uh, oh, in the chat all over the place. Here, let me also put it in the chat in, on our social channel as well. Uh, I see Kiram on YouTube, how are you? And also Sandy, how are you? Great, great, great. I see you guys in uh, commenting, so I am live. There's some tech, tech issue this morning. Things are very delayed. I was at my live, but not live. It's kind of crazy. And yeah, comment on the chat. And I also just say hi, so I know I'm live. And if, if better, tell me about your uh your name where you're from and what you go for 2024 okay so now let's review the resume live uh, cool so nasaria uh have you sent me a resume yes i did okay great let me pull up your resume in the meantime can you quickly introduce yourself yeah of course I'm Brazilian. Thank you, thank you for having me here. Uh, I'm Brazilian. I have 33 years old and I have uh, I have been working for 12 years now. And I trans I started with projects and transitioned to product two years ago. So I have been a PM for two years mm -hmm. and I have been laid off this year on January from the company I, I used to work for. So now Sorry to hear uh, that. And I'm, um, oh, thank you. And I am used to Brazilian recruiters. I worked for Brazilian companies only, and I want to have a more international resume. So your tips are being gold for me right now. And that's why I'm here. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, great. Are you looking for a job in Brazil for international company? Am I right? Actually, I, I, I wanted now to, to have, uh, I, I have seen some of my friends work, working remotely for international companies, and that's something I, I, I'm interested in. But my resume was very Brazilian, just tra translated for English, you know? <laughs> 
So I, I understood we have a different language when talking to international companies. Okay, I think beyond except language, it also has a lot to do with how you construct your resume. Okay, and also our alumni, Andre and also Nicholas, they're also Brazilian. Andre now is working for, I think, in Johnson Johnson, a U.S. company and remotely. And also Nicholas, he already moved his whole family to London. He's also Brazilian. He He's also in a, both of them inside our PMS program. You guys can check it out later on. But for now, let's get started with a free coaching and we can send you more information later on. And uh, let me let me share you my screen. Let's see. So use our template already. Let me see. Available. Uh, yeah, I, I saw your tips and I tried to implement them in mm. my resume. Uh, and I had some 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 things for me were more difficult. Uh, like the I, I I have two pages. I couldn't stay with one. Yeah. And also I I used my old template was like a Canva template and I adapted to your tips. So it's I know. Uh first of all, do not use Canva template. To do it, do not use two columns left and right. Just do one column so you can uh, fit into more space. Okay? And majority of the US uh uh resume is all just one column all the way down. You don't need to do left and right. Something fancy, fancy doesn't mean that can get you a job. Okay, sometimes it's very distracting. Okay, um, so, and the content here, you can change it into one page uh, so that you can highlight your achievement better. Right now, it's harder to read, to be frank, left and right. So go straight this here, and let me see your experience. Focus on like writing. Ah, here, your roles and responsibilities doesn't show that is deep enough at the PM and also the context wasn't out. Okay, let me break down to you. Um, for example, analyze result and make data-driven decisions about what the sentence need to complete about uh, deploying ABCD product in Brazil, about what, okay? And you're also missing like roadmap Right, so you said maintain roadmap. This, this is very weak way to describe roadmap as an important function of product manager. For example, if I were you, I would write it this way. I would say created or drove product roadmap of ABCD product to drive alignment and consensus among 10 stakeholders or among all stakeholders from executives all the way to engineers and individual contributor level. Right, so the same thing can be written in a much bigger scope and more context in it. Okay, I think all of this need to be rewritten to really show what exactly you did. And on top of that, you're also missing what kind of what's your unique product you work on. I don't know what 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 is it? It's a is an AI product, is a SaaS product, is a platform product, is a cloud product. So I'm not sure. It's not very clear. Okay, Uh so in, in this, do you want me to answer that? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. I, I worked in a real estate product for, and I was in the growth department. So I wrote senior growth PM. And, uh, but I, I think this is very like uh, difficult to, to uh, align all the things that are written there, right? So uh, I work it with Grow to bring more real estate to the platform. So I need to uh, acquire leads from like real estate. Yeah. That was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Uh, you should watch another training I had regarding growth product manager that give you more insight regarding how Americans are uh, defining growth product manager. Okay. So even for growth product manager, I like to hear something like this. Work with a team of 10 product managers on real estate platform to drive growth strategy and uh, like product optimization to increase our whatever KPI, whatever KPI, maybe the number of 
the dollar transaction, I don't know, the, the total transaction volume of real estate, right? You can describe that way. So, and if your gross PM frequently run A-B testing, it's, it's a must. It's a must. Why there's no A-B testing here, right? So you must talk about as a main function, a gross PM ran very comprehensive A-B testing to test out front end page, back end, like email automation, onboarding process, upsell sequence, da 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 all different things you try to upsell. Okay, oh, may not be upsell, just anything. Upsell is one of the things you, you need to test through A-B testing, right? Website, like lead funnel from the top, um, all of this. And you should also define a go-to-market strategy for your new features, right? So all of this need to be rewritten. So you are, you are missing those, the key growth product manager roles responsibilities understanding. That's why when you put here, it's missing the entire context. Just felt like you copy paste some keywords such as data-driven, analyze result, product roadmap, but what exactly do you do for those roadmap? It's not very clear. Okay, you should apply the same story. Lead, let the team of three people know, like three who, three product managers, three business analysts, do what? Like okay. the, the context, the entire context is missing. Okay, so Can I want I you to do this. Question? Mm -hmm, go ahead. Uh, uh, in the responsibilities part, uh, should I use mm -hmm. one bullet point to explain a little bit, like you said, like with a team of X people uh, to, I drove blah, 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 to increase blah, blah, blah. Should yeah. I use one bullet point to explain their role before saying the, the things I, I did? What do you mean by explain the role? Because the uh like you asked me what I did, what was the product? Because you didn't have the context, and the hiring person doesn't have. So I, I think it's oh, missing a bullet it's here. point. Explain. It's here. For example, optimize performance of two acquisition channels of real estate platform by driving yeah. growth strategies. So it's here. The product should be implement. here. Okay. Yeah, okay. and if you and, and same thing as the roadmap, right? The context can be here. Draw part of roadmap off. Like of your growth, I don't know what, what roadmap do you work on, which I was very confused if I'm the hiring manager, right? Describe the context here as well. Pro roadmap of what? Of the real estate platform, of the website, of the end-to-end -end customer journey, of, of what, right? So that's the, the entire context is missing. You can plug in here and here, multiple different places for people to understand what exactly you did. Right now, your resume just look like you watch my YouTube videos, you, I told you one of your YouTube videos about the keywords. You plug in the keywords and, and that's it. Okay. Everyone is doing the same thing. Whoever watched my YouTube videos. Okay. You need to do some above and beyond. But I want you to do this. I think what you are missing is this. Grow, gross product manager, Dr. Nin. You search my name, gross product manager. You will see the video I made uh, here. I think you are missing the importance of growth product manager with the key roles responsibilities in the US. That's the main thing you're missing. So when you do your own resume, lots of things just fell like, oh, she didn't even do A-B testing. That's kind of weird, right? But you should have been doing this. So watch yeah, this, which I, I did also... that a lot. <laughs> yeah, you should put in a resume. Sure. I think you are missing the end one was, was a girl's PM. So that's when you put your resume, something is missing. So watch this video where I have very end to end training regarding girl's PM. Everything I talk there should be reflect what you're doing in your day-to-day -day life on your resume. Okay, so Perfect. let me put it on the Zoom chat and, and put it, uh, hold on, hold on. I have too much windows, so many, so many windows, windows, windows. Okay, let me. On Zoom chat, um, you can watch this later on, just bookmark it and also like it and comment and share. Uh, let me also put it in um, on, on YouTube as well. So you guys can see it here. I think you guys have it here. Yeah, I put a YouTube LinkedIn and all of you guys can watch that training. It's very critical. Anyone want to go to get those girls PM opportunities. Um, we literally have a student uh, who is Singaporean and land a girls PM job opportunities in the US as well, which I also wanna share with you. 
all of you guys uh, need to think bigger. Nasaria, I, I think this person is very inspiring based on your background. Um, okay, hold on. I need to find his last name. I think it's Kate. One sec. Oh, let me bring it up here. What was Nicholas' last name? So my computer is slow. Uh, he's also Brazilian and then a job in UK. And many Brazilian and jobs outside. Nicholas D D R. Okay. Let me do this. This one. Nicholas D R B O. Is a typical Brazilian last name? Okay. This one. Oh no, it's a yeah. very complex name. It's not Brazilian last name. <laughs> it's not Brazilian last name. <laughs> you can't spell it. Okay, so he now he works in London and head of generative, uh, generative AI. It's very, very exciting. He's also Brazilian, uh, live and born and studied in Brazil. And he basically like, land a new job in Brazil and, and just uh, move his whole family to uh, uh land a job outside Brazil, move his whole family to London, including visa sponsorship, different things. Uh, crazy. It's like, yes, you guys can do the same thing as well. And same thing as Andre. Uh, Andre is also one of his uh, classmates. They all took my program at the same time. So Andre land a job for US companies at the uh, Johnson Johnson. So yes, you can do the same thing as well. Totally. Just expand, expand your search and understand what's number one thing. You must understand what non-Brazilian companies looking for. The strategy is growing product, how they select candidates, how they review your resume, starting first step. It's different how they interview is different. Everything is very different. Okay, so check out here. Um, yeah, there are many people just like you and you can make it happen as well. Awesome. Any other questions before I move on to the next person? I don't. Very inspiring, Dr. Nancy. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Best of luck. Um, Just use American way. It will just, even if you look for jobs in Brazil, it's way better once you start to grow your career that way. Awesome. Okay, great. Cool. Thank you, uh, Nasalia. Thank you for joining me. Let me move on to the next question. And anybody, if you want to join me on Zoom, feel free to email me as well and free resume review. Um, email me as well, okay? So uh, uh, let me bring this up. Okay, so quick reminder for people who join us late, here is the email you can send um, for free resume review. Right here. Well, I'm live right now. Email me at info at When I'm not live, oh, sorry. When I'm live, email me directly, Nancy, Dr. Nancy .com. When I'm not live, email at info Either one is fine, okay? But like uh, Nasaria, she emailed my team, info and then my team emailed, him, emailed her the Zoom link, okay? And many of you guys already received an email saying that, hey, you are registered for the master class. That's why when you have this email, um, you join me live. Um, which is right now where I review your resume. And for anybody who is part of our upcoming free masterclass training, I want you to have your resume ready. Here is what's it look like. Okay, so this is our masterclass, documents.com slash masterclass. Feel free to go there um, and register. Okay, in the masterclass, I teach you how to create a product portfolio with two different product portfolio examples and five different tools you can use to create your product portfolio. Okay, and choose the time you're ready to sign up and everything's there. And whoever sign up, you're also getting a free AI course. A free AI course for me is, is crazy. It's going to save you lots of time to create a customized um, cover letter using AI. Okay, so now after you register, you must tell me when did you register so that we can review a resume live before you join the masterclass so that once you 
finish math class, your portfolio ready, resume ready, you can go out for job hunting right away. Of course, anybody who's want to have more additional one-month training from me, stay until the end of master class, you can see what options we can work together. Okay, but we have so much free content, everybody can just get started right away. Okay, um, now let me bring up uh, this, I think someone, in your email, um, my, the email title you sent me right now should be resume review dash the day you register for the master class because we want to prioritize people who register for the master class because I want you to have your portfolio ready and also your uh, resume ready when you go out for job hunting. Okay, and let me see. Cool, let me bring on. Okay, I got this one. Uh, Gutam said, pursuing master degree in Carnegie Mellon, applying for PM internship. You would you register for master class on April first. Um, uh, oh, let me let me show my screen. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Uh, master of Science. You did the internship market research. No, 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 no. Uh, Sweet next generation of time. Roofing assistance, spearhead academy research. Mm. You can do more. You can write more re regarding what you did. Even it's part-time. For example, you have you have talked to customers. You can talk about your experience regarding voice of customer interviews. If you already, let's say, conduct A-B testing, you can talk about ran A-B testing experiment, uh, exper experimentation to make this uh, to make product decision about A, B, C, D product, right? Um, you also didn't tell us what specific product you're working on. Is a cloud product? Is a SaaS product? Uh, is this is this the product HVAC systems? Is this your product? Hmm, I can value proposition the, 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 the saving. I think this might be a product. Is this a product? It should be very obvious. Okay. It might be this. This may be your product. Okay. You can write more regarding your roles and responsibilities like a PM. Even it's part-time, you have done a lot, right? So business and perform market research, collaborate with cross-functional team. Uh, did her run a super uh, single? Uh, uh, mm. Mm. Okay, same thing as here. Even if the associate business consultant is totally fine because I've been working there for like three years, it looks like. Um, I want you to talk more. You already did some keywords like roadmap for three different product value proposition, which is fine. I want you to have more context. Right. For example, Joe Product Roadmap determined this roadmap sounds pretty cool. You can say Joe Product Roadmap for three product vision and upgrade, including what kind of product is a AI product, is a cloud product, and all of this should be have a context. Okay. And your second bullet point should talk about cross-functional stakeholders. Maybe you can mention how many, right? team of 20 designers and software developers, uh, sales and marketing all together to launch this product, right? So this can be um, elaborate further. And um, when you talk about your product experience, I think this main thing um, that's lacking in your resume because sounds like you're describing what you did as business analyst, um, not enough like, so what? The so what of the context about product is something what we want to hear. Okay. Yeah, that's the main thing for your resume. But you already have PM internship. Again, you have PM, PM internship. You should write more. You, I think you're wasting opportunity to shine your outcome. Okay. So let me, let me go to next one. Go to next one. So I received emails from Quincy, Frank, Richie, and Anel. Okay, so all of you guys, uh, let's say, I believe, yeah, Anel and Frank, you mentioned when you registered for the master class. Great. For other people you didn't mention, let me know. Okay, I have a three-month-old baby. 
and she's crying right now. So I need to prioritize my baby's time. So whoever register, you get priorities, okay? Uh, cool. Let me review. Let me review this one. So uh, now. You travelers at Accenture. What do you mean travelers? The name of the company is a, is a Accenture's name, associate product manager. Uh, sorry, huh? I think my, my baby is crying. So, hey guys, let's do this. Give me 10 minutes. Everybody watch this. Let me play a video for you guys. My baby is crying. Let me check. She's okay. Um. Watch this PM keywords. Everybody must watch this PM keywords video. Uh, okay. Let me let me make sure that we show everything. This our product you will apply for hundreds of okay. jobs online. Please watch the video right now. I need to check my it might be because baby. I'll be right back. Sorry about this. Keywords. She's crying really hard. Uh, well, everybody learned those PM keywords. Okay, we'll be right back. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, Director of Product. I help engineers and international professionals transition from worker bee to product manager and business leader. Today, we focus on product manager resume keywords. If you have watched my last video, I've already told you how to write a killer product manager resume based on the right impacting stories and how to package your prior experience to become a product manager. Today, we laser focus on deep down into the product manager resume keywords. Hitting the keywords is like hitting the like button. So if you like this video, feel free to like, smash like button so that I can make more videos like this. Thank you so much. All right, so regarding the product manager keywords, let me ask you this question. Do you feel the same way? You apply for hundreds of jobs, but you never heard back from the hiring manager to recruiter. You're wondering what went wrong. If you feel the same way, comment down below saying that me too. If you have been to my live webinar, you know that I really enjoy engaging with my audience. So if you feel the same way as what I just described, comment down below saying that me too. As a hiring manager, I can tell you one of the top reasons you never heard back from the hiring manager was because her manager resume was looking for very different keywords compared with any other resumes out there. Today, I'm going to teach you the right keywords you should put on, on your resume and how to write about them, especially examples and why we need to write it that way. Okay, so first of all, regarding the keywords, there are three groups of keywords. Group one is product manager roles and the responsibility related keywords. Group two are the technical keywords. Group three are the product unique keywords. I'm going to give you specific examples in each of the three buckets so that you can apply specifically to your own scenarios as well. In the first bucket, the most important keyword is MVP, minimum viable product. Minimum viable product is being used by product managers in many different scenarios. It's mainly for using the minimum amount of effort to validate your product ideas, get feedback from customers, and validate your value proposition of your product. And hopefully you're also able to attract a lot of early adopters so that you, mm, you know you're on the right track. And let me give you some very specific examples regarding what do we mean by minimum viable product. One of my favorite MVP is actually the Jobbox MVP. Jobbox, most people you know nowadays, is the file sharing platform. You have one file on your computer, you can share it with your friends, computer. But imagine this, 10 years ago, this like file sharing synchronization is like boring concept for you. How would you even tell your end user, validate with them, and let them understand the value of this product? And the CEO of Jobbox made something very smart. They made a two minute video that describes what the future looks like with this specific file sharing functionality. 
And of course, they did some like quick synchronization, quick code to show them what the interface looks like. But it's all a video. And using this video, they're able to lock down funding to make people understand the unique value proposition, the key concept of file sharing across multiple computers, devices, and platforms. And that's the beginning of Java. The reason I really like to give you this specific examples was that they focus on using the minimum amount of effort. They didn't code, they didn't really do too much work to show them how to build the architecture among different following systems. They filmed a two minute video. As you know that myself, I specialize in making the least amount of effort to use high efficiency methodology to help my student get a job as a product manager. That's why whoever is in the same track with me, like using high efficiency, I totally like them. The second type of keyword is writing product requirements. So the purpose of writing product requirements is for product managers to get alignment with different stakeholders, engineering and sales marketing and different people together so that you're on the same page that what specific things you're making and why we are doing this. I made a specific video in the past talking about how I transitioned from engineering into product management and this is part of the video series talking about how people game and become a product manager without product management background. You can check that video down here. As here, we don't talk that much about how you do transition but I want to tell you is that in my prior experience as engineer, I was able to write lots of requirements, build systems diagrams, and this requirement writing experience is so valuable to product managers. That's how one of my uh, top three strategies for me to transition into product management as well. Hopefully you can do the same thing. And now let me share with you top five type of requirements people need to write. They are functionality requirement, performance requirement, usability requirement, supportability requirement, reliability requirement. Now let me give you some specific examples regarding how to write those requirements. And the first of all is the functionality requirement. The system shall count the number of cars passing each intersection. So this is a specific functionality requirement that people write as a product manager. Let me also give you another example of performance requirements. The camera detection accuracy shall be the same or higher than 85 percentile. So those are the examples of performance requirements and, and the functionality requirement I mentioned earlier. Hopefully you can apply the same methodology into a current work and write about it on your resume as well. Those are the keywords. The third keyword is user story. As a product manager, we write user stories all the time, as you can imagine. The user story's purpose is that you write the features and the functionality of your product from the end user's perspective, so that other stakeholders, in this case, most likely engineers, is able to understand why they are doing this and what the final outcome their product need to achieve. We follow certain specific framework to write user story. Let me give you some examples. I would say, as a traffic engineer, I want to see the number of red light violation cars going through these intersections every hour so that I'm able to collect the data and redesign the traffic light timing to reduce red light violation. If you want to see more examples of how to write user stories, feel free to comment on the link down below so that I'm able to make my future video cater to your needs as well. The number four keywords is conducting the voice of customer interview. This is my favorite part of being a product manager and also the most critical part of all the product management roles and responsibilities. Part of the specific writing conducting customer interview is that we are able to hear the needs and requirements and why and rationale, the reasons why customer has this kind of pain point, how can we solve the problems, and you hear from customers. I made a specific video that I interviewed the Google product managers to see how Google launched their product, how do they interview customers, what specific methodology they use. You should check our video here. And today I'm going to show you the high level why we need to write this. If you have the customer success experience or UI UX experience, that's a perfect prior experience that's so relevant to product management because as a customer success manager, you probably talk to customers, learn the pain point, and you provide the feedback to your product managers or engineering teams. That's something you have to write on your product manager resume as well. Hopefully, this is gonna help you to land more job interviews. And number five keywords is lead cross-functional team. As a product manager, we all know that. We are people leaders. You're not just here to collect paychecks or want to become a product manager. No, 
You are here to solve problems impacting the world. The majority of my students in the long run, they want to become a CEO of their own company. So right now, you're CEO of your own product. So therefore, being able to demonstrate your leadership potential is very critical on your product manager resume. And if you also feel like in the long run, you want to become the CEO of your own company, comment down below saying that, me too, CEO. So specifically, if you're also trying to think about who you need to work with in a cross-functional team environment as a product manager, let me share with you. There are people you work with currently, like engineers and self-marketing, also other functions, other departments, such as legal and like a strategic planning department, could also be someone outside your company, such as like vendors or analysts, and all the cross-functional team experience you need to talk about in your resume as well. If you want to learn how to also get promotion and become a leader much faster, you can check out my my last YouTube video about when I went live and answering questions about how to get promoted and become a director product in four years as a minority woman. Now let's move on to the technical keywords. For the technical keywords, first of all, you do not need to have a technical background to become a product manager. I'm going to make a YouTube video talk about why and what type of technical background is required for what companies. And if you want to check out the future videos, I'm going to put it down here what's available. And you should also let me know what specific example you can give me so that I can put it in my future video referencing to your specific experience as well. So put your specific questions down below about technical background. So if you do have some kind of technical experience, here's my recommendations. You need to write about the top three type of technical backgrounds and the keywords on your resume. Number one, like groups of technical experience is related to cloud, software architecture. For example, if you apply for jobs in Amazon, you need to talk more about cloud, like API, SDK, and other stuff. And I make other videos talking about like funny part of the technical part, you can check it out down here. And on top of that, you should also think about any coding language you have. If you know how to code in JavaScript and C and any other languages, you should put them in your technical description of your resume. And on top of that, the third group is specific tools you have used, such as Jira, or you have done wireframe using different tools or Trello. And all those tools are very relevant to product managers because we, we use the same tools uh, when you become a product manager as well. So those three type of technical keywords need to show up on your resume. Now, another tip for all of you guys is that we have to write it and when to write it. You can write in a section below a technical experience and talk about all the technical keywords I mentioned. You should also plug them in in your experience when you work on specific products before and you should talk about how you use your technical terms to solve the problems as well. And number three, finally, we talk about the product unique keywords that are related to the future job you're applying for. Let me give you some examples. If you apply for like self-driving car company, you probably need to talk about machine learning, AI, natural language processing, sensors, and all those keywords are related to the future product you need to use. Or if you apply for other companies like AI or IoT or medical device, and each industry has its unique like, things they're looking for. Those are product specific keywords. You need to mention those keywords on your resume as well. Therefore, I recommend all of you guys research the company before you even start to write about the specific product unique keywords. Now, let me give you some examples regarding how to write product unique keywords. The old way of writing requirements is rows requirements for various products. That's just old, you know? The new way to write it is road requirement of a machine vision product to reduce car crashes for cities. So those became the product unique requirement. Hopefully you're able to use the type of keywords and examples I just told you to write the product management keywords. And I also made a specific product manager resume template that able to download towards the end of this video. And hopefully you can apply the right keywords into the template and get a product manager job very quickly. If you like videos like this, please give me a thumb up. And on top of that, I have lots of live video content coming up in the future. You can subscribe to my newsletter. I'm going to make announcement whenever I go live and you can ask me questions there as well. I also make multiple videos. If right now you're in the process of interviewing with product manager positions, you have to watch this playlist where I give you several sample examples regarding how to answer product management interview questions, such as tell me something about yourself and why do you want to become a product manager and how to launch a product from concept to execution. All those questions are must-ask questions. You guys need to get ready for this. 
All right, this is for today's content. If you like videos like this, feel free to like and comment and share these videos so that I have lots of motivation to provide more videos and serve you better. All right, I'm gonna see you next time. This is Dr. Nancy Lee. Bye. The world needs ways to reduce carbon emissions. ExxonMobil can help. We're working on solutions for our business. That can also help businesses like yours. Heavy industry with low emissions. Let's deliver. Please design an app for a museum. Museum? I go to all kinds of museums. My favorite museum is British Museum. How would you want me to answer those questions? Ah, ah, ah. Design an app for a museum. What's your favorite product? How would you improve it? All those questions are typical product management interview questions. However, those are very difficult to answer because they're not great fixed framework to answer those questions. What if I show you what the best examples how someone already got a product management job to answer those questions? Today, I'm going to have our guest speaker to do a mock interview with me to show you what the best practice is to answer those product management interview case questions. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a director of product from drnancylee.com. I help engineers and international professionals transition from worker bee to a product manager and business leader. To learn the most effective way to become a product manager, you should subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell button so that you'll be notified every time we upload a new video every Monday. Today, we had a pleasure to have Krista with us to do a mock interview. Hi, Krista, do you wanna introduce yourself quickly? Yeah, sure, thanks, Nancy. Hi everyone, my name is Crystal. I'm currently a product manager at Intuit in their technology for Intuit team. Before product management, I was in consulting and then these videos really helped me a lot in uh, my PM journey and I look forward to working with her more. Awesome. Yeah, something very exciting uh, about Crystal, Crystal's journey is that she transitioned from consulting into product management and recently she got actually several product manager offers and she eventually decided to join Intuit. Today we really enjoyed that having her as our guest to do a mock interview so that we can learn from the best practices in the industry. All right, Krista, are you ready to do a case with me? Yeah, let's do it. Awesome. Great. So today's um, product manager interview is about product manager interview questions and answer theory. I am going to do a product sense interview with Krista. I I'm going to give her a case and we're going to walk through the framework and eventually show some ideas about the MVP. Krista, I have a question for you. So would you please design an app for a grocery store? Um, before I go ahead and get started, I just have a few clarifying questions. Um, you mentioned that our goal is to design an app for a grocery store. Who are going to be the main user? Is it going to be, you know, people who work in the store or people who are going into the store to shop? Uh, in this case, we want you to explore who okay. might be the potential end users. Mm -hmm. So the end users so far is open ended. Do yeah. we have any information about this grocery store? Um, for example, what type of food or um, products they sell, uh, where are they located in the US or in the uh, world? Great question. Um, you can assume that we are those kind of Whole Foods type of store, but it's not Whole okay. Foods, assuming that kind of style is, mm -hmm. it's national, they sell almost everything, like grocery, vegetables, meat, and they also sell some like um, uh, fresh produce as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, and then last question before I go ahead and get started is what are the business goals of designing this app? Is it to drive kind of new customers coming in uh, or increase, you know, revenue? Do we have any specific business goals? Uh, great question. Specifically, I believe different company has different business goals. Let's assume we are Facebook. Mm -hmm. Facebook is mission is to bring people cl uh, closer to mainly solve problems for end users. Mm -hmm. So it's less about revenue, it's more about solving the pain I'm point for life. customers and provide the best user life. experience mm -hmm. and bringing people closer together as a community. No time. Yeah, that's super important. Because uh, I think depending on that goal, as you measure uh, revenue is So I am back, sorry. Um, my kid just cried, so...
Let's continue. Sorry for waiting. Sorry. I have a three months old baby. Yeah, I need to take care of her. Let me continue doing that. Let's see. Who else is still here? Is still here? Comment hi and comment hi in the chat. If you're still here, come hi in the chat so that I know who else is still here. Uh let's see. Comment hi in the chat. Cool, you guys are still here. Perfect. Okay. Now. And then continue to let me review that what happens when you have a newborn baby, but love what you do. Cool. All right. So, and now let me see. Associate product manager. <laughs> Operation maintenance part wrong. I think this is a very good resume. I think you are good to go. Let me see. And then your internship, brand ambassador. Da, da. I think the very good resume, especially first part. And this is good. You have impact. You also have other keywords I was looking for. And no need to se separate internship with experience. Just like combine. I will combine these together into one thing. Okay, I will combine this. Education, is, uh, this is great. Actually, this is great, especially the first session. And high level, you're great. Yeah. Um, on that one, the lesson, and experience, and engagement, and this. Okay, cool. I think in general, this is a very good resume. Good job, Anel. This is the first time I, read, I, I scanned through someone's resume. I was like, oh, that has most things I was looking for. Okay, and then the next part is you need to create a product portfolio to increase accessory and also start networking process so that people will read your resume. Lots of time when your resume is good, people didn't read it because it's 1,000 people applying for each job on LinkedIn once whatever you check it, which means that the chance of your resume being reviewed is very low. So therefore, I want you to create a product portfolio which demonstrates your skill set because 99.99% candidates today, they do not have a product portfolio at all. And and you use networking strategy, make sure that people read your resume. But the resume itself is very well written. Good job. Good job. Clearly, you spent lots of time studying my YouTube channel. Awesome. So let me go to the next one. Uh... Oh. Um, Avinash. April 2nd, cool, you registered for master class on April 2nd, great, cool, so let me, let me review this resume, I don't like the layout, I think you change the layout, the, the template need to be changed, the layout is not that good, let me see the context, um, you should also make achievement first, and also your achievement should be should have some numbers in it. Implement training uh training program for this result in trade failure. Uh, percentage can you add the percentage? Improve client satisfaction by how much? This you need some, you need to add some numbers. Okay, and a successfully process a set of trades. Mm. Are you doing trading or product work? Equity security. I, I think you're giving yourself a title product analyst, but what you did is not PM at all. You're doing trading stuff. I want you to go watch my um YouTube training where I talk about roles and responsibilities of product manager. I think that's a foundation for you to understand what's going on. Okay, so and different keywords go to resume, product manager resume tips in this play, playlist. You have lots of things you can learn. Okay, thousands of views. And of course, make sure you like and comment and share this video. So watch this playlist. You will have better understanding what I was looking for on YouTube. Uh, I'm sorry, what I was looking for on your resume through my YouTube channel. Okay, I think that's, a, that's the main thing. It's missing. Okay. Yeah, same thing. All of this needs to be rewritten. The template and everything will be changed. 
Um, by the way, you can you can download the resume template I have. So go to the first video, the keywords, resume PM keywords. In the description of this video, there is a template. So use my template and my layout is significantly better. Okay. And you currently, I just don't like the layout. The keywords is missing. Lots of things are missing. So let me, let me put the link in the chat of LinkedIn and YouTube. Okay. Cool. Now let me continue. Let me go to next one. My computer froze. Hold on one sec. It's not clicking. Okay, now I'm back. Frank. I got your resume. You attended masterclass on March 30th. Okay. So everybody, if you join late, what hold on, let me my computer is Zoom is not sharing. One sec. Right here. Okay. So I love this. Okay, so people may ask you, what is the masterclass? What's going on? So this is a masterclass. If you sign up for our masterclass, we have live training tomorrow and Thursday. Okay, if you sign up for our upcoming masterclass, please make sure to uh, sign up first and also let me know which days you attended masterclass in the past or in the future that you registered. Okay, um, right here. Uh, now and in your email send to me let me know which day you receive a master class and also the the title of email should be free resume review dash date you register for the master class okay because we do want to prioritize people who register because we want to teach you how to create a key department manager portfolio in my master class and after you finish that you should also have your resume ready and you go out for job interviews okay so that's the purpose of uh, giving you free resume review and I have a three months old baby. I do have limited time. So I want to prioritize people who register even more time. We can review other resumes. But let me go through the priorities first. Australian, agile, personal experience. Oh, really long. Four pages resume. I'm a director, I only have one page of resume. You need to change it, okay? Whatever the summary up front, let me change. You can write a summary with impact and quickly, maybe like three lines, four lines should be enough, like this much. Um, All of this we changed. Uh, nobody will read here, okay? But let's see which data director. For the number of mentor coach, how many junior product managers you're missing? Manage portfolio product. This is cool. It started in a framework and uh, implement data driven decision making and a team and a cross functional. Oh, you, you missed important things regarding what the director needs to do product strategy and go to market strategy. Those two things are missing significantly. Okay. In your, mm. in your resume, mm, strategies. I really want to see more strategy. Talk about. The impact, but I want to see if we're in a drove roadmap and create a, a long term, short term product strategy, and all the strategy part was missing. That's the main thing. Okay, now senior product manager. And I will also separate your achievement and roles responsibilities. It's important to separate these two. The reason is once you have those two separate, it's easier to see what you do as a director, what is your own impact. For example, this is impact. Uh, and looks like this is those responsibilities. When you mix this up, you feel like what is exactly you're doing? Because on average, each recruiter on average only has six seconds to scan through people's resume. With such limited amount of time, you must show the most important thing you let them know. So therefore, organize everything better. It's quite important. Define your strategy. No, 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 no.
I think this is the role's responsibility is good, but there's no priorities. As I said earlier, I strongly recommend you guys put your achievement up front so we know what kind of product you launch. And let's say you launch like cloud-based AI enhancement product that led to $500 million in revenue. Boom, straightforward up front. And then you talk about different kinds of roles and responsibilities, and especially have so much going on. Now there's no priorities. You gave us so much stuff, and then you have four pages resume. Please cut things that's not relevant or not as important, right? Uh, and then we'll, you can maximum have two pages resume. This is really long. This is literally really long. Yeah, cut off the things that's not necessary. That's the main problem, Frank. Mm. No, let me go next one. Okay, I think I finished everybody who submitted resume for for people who are registered for master class. Now for other people, let me do a quick review. Uh let me share this one. Okay, so people come out on the chat. What is the mascara? This one. Go to darknessd.com. Uh, let me put in the chat. People don't know this one. If you register for this one, let me know so we get priorities. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me post here. So it's more straightforward. If you register, let me know the day you register. So can okay, prioritize yours now. At the same time, let me read this one. Uh, Richie, you said. Why this resume feels really long as well and not well organized? Technical skills, whatever experience. Ah, your impact wasn't very clear. Looks as one impact, right? But it's not very clear regarding what kind of product is your strengths, right? So it's AI product or cloud product. It didn't stand out. You just said you did things, but it wasn't very obvious what kind of product is what you work on. Is this this AWS cloud? Is this your product? I, I don't think so. It's quite confusing. That's so that's why I highly I highly recommend everyone put achievement up front so you can launch A B C D product with A B C D revenue impact or customer impact data up front so people know what kind of product you work on. Um and they also know oh wow, this is your subject matter domain. Okay, especially for senior PMs. And this is very critical. Uh, same thing. You need to separate so that you have priorities. The problem with people's resume, especially for senior PM, you don't have priorities on your resume. So couldn't tell what exactly you did. Okay, and people may be, oh, I have PM experience. Why don't you just hire me? Well, you're competing with people who came from uh, Google, Meta, and different companies, why they should hire you. So you should pri show the priorities what you want the, in the, uh, uh, the recruiter to read or the hiring manager to read, okay? So that's the main problem. Mm. Quincy, I got your resume. Let me do a quick review. Mm -hmm. The problem is with this resume, your product owner and project manager, where is the leadership for example, draw product roadmap? Maybe you're not driving it. Maybe you propose features on product roadmap. Um, and you say working cross-functional stakeholders, like how many? And what do you mean by stakeholders? Are they software engineers or at the C level? Um, what do you mean by uh, stakeholders, right? So define what your stakeholders and give me the size. 
Uh, lots of things here shows lots of operational job you did. Didn't show the product vision and strategy for example, proposed product features on roadmap, conduct voice or customer interview, understand the pain point and insight to create A, B, C, D, different kind of product strategies. Um, it's, and then you put roadmap planning. If you drive certain roadmap, you should put it up front. And the roadmap is not just for the purpose of planning roadmap, is to once you create the roadmap, is to align the vision among 10 different stakeholders to understand the short and long term roadmap so that you can create a product strategy, right? So the way you write it sounds like you are just doing operational work. You didn't show you are driving the initiatives. Okay, same thing in the other. Yeah, you should to do the same thing for other paragraphs as well. And you're wasting lots of space by putting left and right. I would just do it, the template, using the template I shared with you earlier. Go to here, documents account slash PM resume. You're able, once you download it, you can see the style I was looking for, okay? Comment on the chat, is this helpful? Uh, so I know... Uh, Revenge, after I finish your resume, you can directly put comments. You can read easy, easier on the comment of LinkedIn or YouTube. Either one is fine. Yeah. When you write me a long email, it's very hard to capture. Have I finished reading, reviewing everyone's resume? I think I have. I think I have. Cool. I believe I finished all the resume requests. I think I have. Okay. If somehow I miss your resume, um, please post it. Uh, please email my team. Let me show you my team's contact information. Okay, everybody. Oops, it's not a slideshow. Okay, so I finished all the review of people who are registered, registered uh, who already registered for masterclass. And if so, see me tomorrow on Wednesday and later this week to have your resume uh, reviewed and also create a product portfolio. I'm so excited. Whoever finished the resume review, you know what to do, okay? Now, when I'm not going live, you can email info info.pmsearch.io and he's able to send you the Zoom link to join me live to receive free coaching and re uh, review your resume live and ask me any questions you have, just like uh, uh, Nasaria who joined me earlier today. Okay, you can do the same thing. You email my team at info.pmsearch.io. When I'm live, you can email me directly. When I'm not live, make sure to email my team so we can organize all the information together and send you the Zoom link that's necessary for you to grow your PM career, okay? Um, now, let me also check all the questions we have. Um, um, I sent one email. Sarah, you sent me email with date of attendance. You did? Let me let me see. I think I don't, I think I finished all of it. Let me confirm. Let me confirm. I don't think I got your email. Sarah, I didn't see your email with your resume. Huh, I didn't see it. So I believe I finished everybody who already sent it over to me or maybe go to spam folder. Um, but Sarah, I didn't see your email with your resume. But anyway, if I missed yours, feel free to send over to me, um, to my team, you are ready. You can join me next week, every Monday, 11 a.m. EST. We will review your resume live. As I said, I have a new baby, newborn baby. I will prioritize people who already registered for the masterclass. If you haven't registered, just go to my website right here, docnancy.com. Go to homepage, there's a big button, register for free masterclass. Over there, you will learn how to create a product portfolio. You have two examples of product portfolio uh, style and uh, five different tools you can use to create a product portfolio. Awesome. 
Quincy, yes, I thank you for your five dollars donation on YouTube. Thank you so much. Great. Let me see what other um emails messages I had. Um, cool. I believe I answered all the questions. Um, if I miss any, let me know. Okay, and feel free to email my team and he can send you a Zoom link to join me next week. Awesome. Okay, great. Great meeting, everybody. This is Dr. Nancy Lee. I'm going to see you in my next YouTube live. And whoever is here for the masterclass, I'm going to see you live in my live training as well, Tuesday, Wednesday, and later this week at 8 p.m. EST. Awesome. Great talking to you guys. Talk soon. This is Dr. Nancy Lee. Make sure to like this video and share this video with anybody who needs free coaching and help. Okay, like, comment, and share. Thank you so much.